How to add the progress bar to your Wix website. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to achieve this. Now, I believe there are multiple ways to actually achieve this and do this. Uh, but in my case, I'm just going to show you the one that I like the most because you can feel free to design it and customize it quite a lot uh, with this method. So I'm just going to show you this method and hopefully you like it as well. Now, uh, if you only want to use one widget, it's actually going to be for free. But if you want to use multiple, and there are also some other conditions it may um, have, you may have to actually pay for it later on. But all we need to do is just go and click on edit site with Wix.com. And when it comes to the payments and the pricing plans and all these things, you can check them out uh, later on once we open up the uh, website for them. So just go in and open up Wix website editor. And once, you know, uh, as this is opening, we just want to open up a new browser tab and search for common uh, ninja.com. It's common ninja without a, it's just one N between them. So common and ninja have, you know, sharing the same N. Uh, and you just want to go to commonninja.com and you will find yourself in this website. So uh, in your Wix website first, uh, just make sure you have a proper section waiting for it. So you have some space for it. And now let's just go back to Common Ninja, log in, create your account for free. Uh, and then you can also check out the pricing from there if you want. So once you're in this page, all you need to do is just go and click on create widget. And then you just want to search for progress bar. Uh, which is right here. For I think I misspelled it. So progress bars, and you will find it right over here. So click on create create progress bars. And once you do that, you basically have the feel, or you have the option to design it to your liking, uh, edit the elements in them, and everything. So just go ahead and take your time to design them. So the first thing is going to be the actual items in the bars. Uh, by default, you're going to have these four. If you want to remove them, just click on this trash icon. If you want to edit them, you can also do so by clicking on the right arrow. And then you can just go in and change the test. Uh, I mean, the text to whatever you want. The progress type is going to be percentage or fixed value. I'm just going to keep it as, as percentage. And then you can also add more items as well. So you can feel free to edit all of them if you want. And we can just go ahead and continue. If you want to add more, Click on add item and that's pretty much all we need to do. Now, if we just go to the, uh, to the second option, which is look and feel, you can feel free to adjust the uh, layout, how it actually looks like. I'm just going to go for this one and we can also feel free to change the colors. So, so if you want it to be uh, red or whatever you want, if you want it to be um, a dark background, you can also go for it. It's completely up to you on, and how you actually want it to be. So I'm just going to go for this one as, the, as an example. And pretty much once you are done with adjusting it, you may want to look around. Maybe you can do uh, more crazy stuff with it. Uh, just click on save changes on the top right. Select where you want to save it. Click on save changes and just copy the code. Once you copy the code, you just want to go back to, go back to your Wix website, add elements. And then you just want to, to go to embed code, embed HTML. Just go ahead and insert the code right over here and click on update. And that's all we need to do. So now we have our progress bar ready. All you need to do is just go ahead and resize it to your liking and we should be good to go. So we can just go ahead and make sure it is in the middle like so. And we have our progress bar. So this is pretty much all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.